So as you guys can see we are playing the original RPCS3 emulator on our Android devices. There we go guys we are about to play an PS3 game. I am so excited. Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here. There is a brand new way to play RPCS3 emulator on your Android devices. In today's video I will be reviewing this method. We will be trying to emulate some games and play it on our Android devices. It's going to be really amazing but before getting started if you guys are new here smash that like button subscribe turn on all notification and just to let you guys know official RPCS3 emulator hasn't been launched for Android android devices yet but now we have a brand new way to play it i'll show you guys what i'm talking about let's get started all right guys to start off as usual we'll be using an app from play store known as game cc now i know a lot of you guys might know about this app it lets you stream ps4 and ps5 servers on your android devices well today we'll be using it to play rpcs3 emulator on android and stream some ps3 games no one was able to do it from this app before but now it's finally possible so if you guys haven't tried game cc yet then let me show you guys how it works just go ahead and open this app now to start off you just have to go ahead and tap on the sign in option afterwards tap on agree and then you'll have to log in or create an game cc account for that just go ahead and tap on sign in with email if you don't have a game cc account then just go ahead and tap on sign up and afterwards register by entering your email address i already have a game cc account so let me just go ahead and log in once we have been logged in you will see an ui similar to this so what you have to do is go to this discovery tab Afterwards search for cloud server which is known as Nexus Gaming 04. So right here you will be able to see there are a lot of servers hosted by GameCC. How it works is basically you rent a cloud server through GameCC services and stream it on your Android devices. Now right here is the Nexus Gaming 03. We need the Nexus Gaming 04. There we go guys we have found the Nexus Gaming 04 and if we just go ahead and tap on it you will see a lot of icons such as desktop, GTA 5, Forza Horizon 5 etc. If you swipe to the right then you will find the RPCS3 PS3 emulator that is available to be streamed on GameCC on the Nexus Gaming 04 server. With the help of this you can emulate and stream PS3 on your Android devices legally. Now to run RPCS3 emulator through GameCC we will need to rent this cloud server so if we just go ahead and tap on rent anyway. So right here you can see the rental info 280 credits for and you get to play AAA games at 60 fps but if we just go ahead and take a look at the uh, balance then you will be able to see I have about 928 credits which I bought previously if we just go ahead and tap on balance then it will redirect you to your account section and here you will be able to see that I have 928 credits if you tap on add credits you will be able to see that we can purchase 1000 credits for I guess around 1.3 dollars. It is worth it because I think with the help of uh, 1000 credits you can easily stream for almost 2 hours which is pretty cool. Alright guys so let's try RPCS3 out. I will just go ahead and tap on rent for 30 minutes and confirm rent. It will say rent succeeded now you can start using the console. We exchanged our game CC credits for rentable time. It will say successfully rented connect now. Tap on confirm afterwards tap on continue to connect. You only need to have an 5G internet connection on a stable Wi-Fi. That's the only requirements. After it's finished loading just go ahead and tap on it. Tap on connect again and it will say connection succeeded and there we go guys rpcs3 emulator has successfully launched on game cc let me quickly show you guys the best settings before we start playing some games we'll go to advanced settings afterwards make sure to set re video resolution to auto if you don't have a stable internet connection you can go with 540p but for today's video we'll go with 720p afterwards frame rate keep it at 60 fps now make sure to enable stretch video to full screen it will give you an immersive gameplay experience those are the best settings now we can just go back now you can just go ahead and tap on quit session and restart the game cc by tapping on resume session and there we go now you can see the emulator has opened in full screen now that we have fully set up game cc settings and everything else we can just go ahead and tap on the game which we want to play by moving our cursor for today's video let's just go ahead and try out tekken now if you want to you can even add your own game in this pc which you are streaming and start emulating them as well but as you guys can see right here uh, it is compiling shaders and this should run at 60 fps because the pc which we have rented is also super high end emulation is just a piece of cake for it this is the best possible method of playing ps3 on android because if you try emulating ps3 games hypothetically on an android device with the help of an let's say a ps3 emulator then it will obviously have a lot of lagging issues frame drops and graphical glitches whereas this method is way better for those of you guys who have mid-range android devices and obviously there is no ps3 emulator available for android devices so this is indeed the only way to play rpcs3 working edition on our android devices 
there we go Tekken game is loading we have all these on screen touch controls set up these are playstation controls by the way so it will work as soon as we tap on the A button which is so surprising there we go guys we are about to play and PS3 game on our Android devices I am so excited so let's just go ahead and start it Tekken Tag Tournament let's start let's scroll down and select offline mode because as you know online doesn't work we'll select arcade battle I'll choose a random fighter cause why not no not this though there we go guys the fight has started let's just go ahead and uh, check out the gameplay you'll be able to see that we are playing at 60 fps so yeah this pc is really high end and if you want to add your own ps3 games then you can do that as well so guys that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification i'll see you guys next time goodbye